Hello guys, I'm Daniel Goodson. I'm just a language learner as you are. And with my fluent podcast, I want to share all my language experience with you. A big part of the job is looking for the worst in people. Turns out I excel at that. You a PI? I'm just trying to make a living, you know, booze costs money, usually. Jessica Jones, I saw you. What do you want to know? Can you punch through a wall? Stop a moving car? A slow moving car. The way I see it, being a hero just puts a target on your back. I've been there, done that. Up to this dawn. What if there was someone else out there? But his ability was to make people do whatever he wanted. You like my control? You have no idea what I've done. What he made me do. That was a part from the trailer of Marvel's Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. That's the name of a great TV series on Netflix which is based on the comic book series called Alias. I watched the first season in English and with English subtitles. And I'd say I watched the series in a rather more conscious way than I normally do, in order to improve my English. So, basically, I use it as my language learning resource. I will give you more details on that in another episode, which is coming very soon. There. I will then explain things in more detail, especially how exactly I work with subtitles and how I use the audio to improve my pronunciation. First off, this episode is only going to be kind of an introduction to this fantastic topic. And at that point I want to ask you, can you learn a language through movies? What do you think? And will subtitles in movies help you to learn a language? These are two really good questions. Difficult questions, in fact. In my opinion, a simply yes or no answer is not enough. There are a lot of videos, blogs and podcasts on the internet that have already mentioned this subject. But most of them I found rather confusing than helpful. I've learned very quickly these questions were rather controversial questions. To wrap it up, I'll give you here a few examples. Some people said subtitles would really help them. They had even learned different languages as Portuguese and Spanish with only this method. So there was a big group which was pretty convinced of the method. And others had opposing opinions. They argued it would not be a good idea at all to learn a language using subtitles. For instance, according to the English as a second language blog called English Attack, subtitles would not be helpful at all, even if they're in the same language as the dialogue. One thing they all had in common though. They were quite self-confident about what they've published. That's at least the impression I've got. In my view, a lot of the published articles, videos and so on I came across were not thoroughly thought through. Pooh, this was a tongue twister for me. Meaning they didn't cover different aspects, which has to be bared in mind here. Some of the videos I watched lasted only about 6 minutes. In this case, I asked myself if it is even possible to take into account of all the aspects in this complex topic. Don't get me wrong, of course there were or are good resources out there, but that was just my impression while doing these researches. I must admit as well that I did not spend hundreds of hours on that. Are movies going to help boosting your language skills to the next level then? Well, 
It really depends on many many different factors whether or not you will succeed. For instance, it is important to know in the first place how proficient you currently are at your target language. If you are an absolute beginner, you should start out with very easy materials, otherwise you'll be overwhelmed. You won't learn because it's too difficult. You must really strike the balance between difficulty grades. Not too easy, but not too difficult either. Then, what are your goals? Meaning, it won't help you in your daily life if you watch splatter movies. The vocabulary may not be appropriate, not of use in your real life. And then, how actively are you watching the movie or the TV series? Well, in my case, I always switch the language to my target language. Whether I'm actively learning or just enjoying the movie. And then, how much time are you willing to spend watching movies? Or, if you're using subtitles, do you use subtitles in your mother tongue or in your target language? Do you organize your language sources? Meaning, do you write down things you've learned through movies? Or do you just watch them once and go directly for the next movie? So, that's part one of this big preamble, and here comes part two. This is going to be the start of a theme series. This series is called Learning Through TV Series and Movies. And the focus here lies more on the TV series side, for the simple reason that I'm really into a few TV series right now, such as Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Arrow, and so on. And I want to go where my passion leads me. And that's something I recommend you to do as well. I'm not quite sure yet how many parts I will do in the future, but it's important to me that I cover as many aspects as possible. And most importantly, I want to give you insight into what I was going for and what I am going for. If you have experience in learning with movies, please let me know and write an email to myfluentpodcast at gmail.com. In the future, I want to compare my language skills and see if the methods worked out as I wished in the long term. So this was my quick introduction to this new series. I hope you enjoyed. The next time I'm gonna explain you how exactly you can use subtitles and especially how you can use Netflix for that purpose. He isn't here now. He's always here. This shit. Yes? You'd like to invite me in? Absolutely. Kilgrave leaves a trail of broken people behind him. He made me jump for hours as high as I could. He said I was never as good as you. He's back. He's coming for me. Let's start now. No! Jessica, I'm the only one who matches you. But we're inevitable. Oh my god. God didn't do this. The devil did. Now I'm gonna find him. I am your host, Daniel Goodson. Have a good one.